Hello, and welcome back to round one, back nine coverage of the 2021 Green Mountain Championship from Jeffersonville, Vermont. I am Jeremy Colling. I'm joined by Paul Uliberry, Big Berry Commentary. Who's doing well? Well, Drew's doing well. He just knocked down a rocket from deep. Boy, howdy, did he. Ben's struggling. Ben. Paul's doing all right. Yeah, Paul off that hot start, four down through five. And then since then, he's just been one over. But Zach Melton and Paul Uliberry up there with those fire emoji, with no fire emoji because the round's not over, but a very hot start at seven under in the front nine. It's a little ridiculous, uh, but let's get into the action here. A whole 10, par three, 470 feet, about 65 feet drop. This is downhill the whole way. They brought this tee pad back a few years, and it brought this hole from being a fun little two to a bonus birdie. What do you throw here? Is it a fairway driver? Well, I grab my ice skates, and then I... <laughs> yeah, we talked a little bit about these slick tee pads in the front, and it will certainly be a factor from time to time in the back. There's a nice towel, and coming off that big putt, this looks great. I mean, big putts on eight yeah. and nine. Much bigger on nine, but... That's a shorter one for birdie, and that's a sweet little stretch to get right oh there. Oh, my gosh. Eight, that could nine, be four ten. in a row. Did he get seven as well? Wow. Yes, he did. Yes. See ya. Little slip there. Didn't Go quite get train. it to turn. He needs help. No. Got no. the distance. Oh. Did not keep it straight. And that's a hard thing to do. Going down this hill, your disc tends to increase speed, and the stability starts to change once it's really ripping down the hill. I think the best play on this one is to throw it as hard as you can and hit the trees. Those trees are pretty plush above the basket. Oh, he hit a tree. That means it's good. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Re <laughs> just correct itself into the mulch. Unreal. Unreal. What a drive. Watch the feet on this. You can see a big time oh, wow. slip. To have the control after a slip like that, to be able to get it down there into Elite. the chips are absolutely incredible. Elite athlete. Well done. Slip birdie. The trend. Well done. Go. It's being so tentative, man. Not God, really a bad shot. Garbage. Not a bad shot at all, just kind of tough when you see Paul park it and Drew put it so close. Oh, oh no. Really? Like that? That would have been Come pretty on. dope, actually. You think he was trying to skip that in for the two? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, my goodness. Really? That far? Looked like he made it almost right there. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Simon's still away. And that'll be in for par, but that just tells you how close Drew is. We already know that Paul's in the mulch. Drew officially on fire. Yes. I, I, I had a start through five mm -hmm. holes and then to get that stretch. I mean, that that's a tough, that's the toughest stretch I think in the whole course. I don't even have to look at the scores to tell you that there's no way anyone else birdied all of those holes. Nice. All at once. No way. You just don't get seven, eight, nine, ten. All in a row. That's that is amazing stuff. You don't even get them for the tournament usually. <laughs> yeah, seriously, incredible. Hole eleven, par four, six hundred and five feet, and another straight downhill the whole way. These two trees on the left side really make you make a decision. Do you play through the left side and try to get lucky through the trees, or do you throw a backhand turnover that contends with these trees on the right side of the fairway? Keeping it down the middle is such a specific angle. Really fun tee shot though. Yeah, you could get all the way down there with a good shot. Or look at the two. At the big one. We've seen a couple happen in the past. Slow fade. Missed that one. Oh, this is beautiful. great. 
and then beat those guardians. Yep. Oh, got all the way through. Oh my goodness gracious. He is going to have an outside circle two, maybe somewhere in circle three look for the eagle. Yeah, that was blistered. Not really even blistered. He just got the angle right, and yep. then the hill just carried it down. Does there, the rest. So. Totally. Another. Oh, it's coming out of it, though. Oh. Yeah, that's the guardian. You got to you gotta miss, but he has that. Yeah, as you can see, the guy in the red right there, he has that gap he's going to be able to kind of go through to get to the green. The trees that Paul hit, you can't quite see from the tee, but you know they're there. Yeah. Sign? Perfect. <laughs> that's the that's worst the thing. <laughs> you hit the initial tree, and somehow you make it through an entire forest. Great kick. If it went too far, it could be trouble on the right side, though, but initially it did look like a really good kick. So what does Simon have? Not a lot. But there is potential salvation from there. He can find that backdoor route for the skip forehand or backhand turnover to get onto the green. Gonna need some help. Yeah, I think that was helpful. He's yeah, shopping. I, yeah, at least he's got a wide open look at it. I obviously would want to be closer, but I think where that was heading was gonna develop into a tougher putt. Oh, Simon going for the Heiser flip backhand. Oh wow, a root. All right, trending. The chorus is giving a little back to Simon. That was coming in with the heat. That was going to be well outside the circle if that had not hit the root. Miss it. Oh. Wow. That's yeah. Yep. So unfortunate. Well, the that slip so doesn't good. count. So Drew for Eagle. How far away? Uh, no real look. Just kind of laying that one up. But that's going to be five straight for Drew. Hold on. And he is picking up strokes on the entire field on this stretch right now. He is on. Incredible. Paul shopping at the birdie store, but he's not buying. Oh my God. When you feel like you've done it and you're on a tough little stretch, and it looks so good like that did for Ben right there. It did look so good. And then I it hits the pain. top, and it's uphill, and you gave it the height that you needed to. So often you miss those low. But to give it the height, in one of those moments you're just saying, please, course, give me something. Clank. And then it clanks. God, that was the most real feeling I've ever seen on the course right there. Ben just cannot believe that didn't go in. Yeah, it's like you get electrocuted. Legitimately. <laughs> you're like, same. oh, really? <laughs> I, I've never been tasered, but I imagine that's what it feels like. Promise it is. Hole 12, par 3, 430, and we got a theme going on here. Another downhill shot. It is blind, but you can see these trees from the tee. You're just trying to barely miss those. Somehow skip around these boulders to not get stuck outside the circle. Ask me if I've been tasered. Uh, I know you have. I was there. I did it. Have you been tasered, Paul? No, what do you think? I'm some kind of criminal? <laughs> you don't have what to kind be. of question is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I, was, thought I remember something back in Vegas. Maybe when I was training to be a police officer? Drew Gibson hits a tree and his streak is going to come to an end. No, maybe not. His streak, well, he did run that. Oh, my goodness. Paul Macbeth is throwing Ooh. ace runs. That was so good. Again. Beautiful touch. He just seems to throw that disc. He's been throwing that disc really well. What was that? Is that a That's bus? a Luna. A Luna. Oh, yeah. A Luna. Yeah, just your natural 430 feet putter shot. Okay. He needs it, and yeah. he's going to get it. Yep. Ask me if I ever trained to be a cop. I've seen your mustache in the past. I know you have. No, I'm a professional disc golfer. 
guy. Ben, early tree kick. He, it has been a whole nine holes since we've seen a birdie from him, if not more. I, he needs to see one go in sometime soon. All right, Drew's off the birdie streak now. Come on, Ben. Deep breath. A little lower, but not too low. That's too low. Mm. He's on target. He is. And he's coming off a really good performance last week at Maple Hill, a top 10 finish. Anytime you see that on the Elite Series, that is great disc golf. Maple Hill, very similar in the way it plays to Brewster Ridge. Yeah, if you get a top 10 at a at a Pro Tour, I'll finish this thought. If that was at your local tournament, that would beat your local players yeah. by 10 shots. You're winning probably. the tournament. Yeah. Yeah. That top 10 at Disc Golf Pro Tour, it is like winning a tournament. I mean, maybe not to the guys who are wanting to just win everything, but it who feels are like winning the Pro Tours. <laughs> yeah. Those guys, they're not happy with it. Hole 13, par four, 545, a dog leg right. The key to this hole is you have to stay on the left side of the fairway. That road is actually a pretty good indicator of how good your approach angle will be to this pin because if you're tucked to the right side of that road, you're really not going to have much. Stand still. Well, that's one way to combat the slick tees. But. With the standstill, it requires a lot more arm and a lot less leg. And with that, he's overcompensated and turned his drive over left and even got a kick to the left to boot. No. And even though that's clean, he's not going to have a, a, a really any sort of clean look to the pin. Unless something incredibly lucky happened. That roller disc drew through. Okay. It was a roller. Did it get through everything? Wow. It's, a uh, it's far enough that he's made the corner. Good to see that Ben's still able to uh, congratulate the guys on his card when they throw fun shots. You know he's frustrated, but he's keeping a good head. Okay, Angle. Maybe. Who knows? Difficult to maintain your composure in the woods sometimes when you're just a bit off and you're not making all your putts. Too stable of a disc? Oh, wow. Yeah, he wasn't trying to park that one. He was just trying to make the initial gap and Heiser up the hill, give himself some sort of look at the putt. Oh boy. What did that tree to do to you? Not at all. What the heck was that? Probably didn't have like a good swing. We've got to do a tutorial on the fact that you're not going to win these battles with trees. When you punch them, you lose every time, every single time. I cannot iterate it enough. It is a losing battle. Oh my God. That little one, that was so good. And, and, and discs are also losing to trees every single time. They've never won that battle. Yet I keep trying. Okay. <laughs> Drew doesn't like the stick this time. Pen from distance, that would have been a great way so to get off the uh, the non-birdie skid. Yeah, I feel like it's been just a lackluster day all in all for this card so far. I mean, we have a couple five unders, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, but, I mean, combined with everything, there's bogeys kind of on there, and they're they're high on their putts. Uh, I don't know what the mood is, but this... See see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That, it's just, it's yeah. So, there's something a little bit off. These woods can feel yeah, dark pressure. and ominous yeah, and get, mysterious. and If you're off just a little bit like these guys are, the pressure can build. Oh, boy. Oh, 
No, 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 no. That was a Dikembe Mutombo branch if I've ever seen one. Drew, is this for just single bogey? Single bogey. No, how? That's not something you do. There's <laughs> not a lot there. <laughs> he is so... There's so much talent in that man. <laughs> yes, crazy. there is. He is a talented human being, Drew Gibson. Maybe that'll liven the spirits up of the of the card. But fat chance. No, <laughs> you might be right. I mean, sometimes that's all it takes, you know, just one big shot and then as long as the guys are out there, you know I'll tell I'll tell you this. If he misses that, he's mad. Everybody yeah. else is mad right now. Uh -huh. And then I mean, he's still mad at a bogey, but it's a great putt to save a bogey. That's, that goes a long ways on a course like a, this. A Spikeheiser putt from 60, you know, I mean, with no look at the basket. That's just... The good thing is, is they have scoring this scoring hole coming up 240 up the hill, par 3. You're going to want to throw a baby flex shot or dead straight in this right side gap, and then everything just seems to filter towards the basket. A little bit of a ridge off to the left. If you hazard too much, you can get down there, but it starts to slope back uphill right around the circle's edge. So it's hard to get too far away from the pin if you miss these initial trees. Paul pulls that one, and the double kick takes him out of birdie range. Easy to do on this hole is to kind of pull it when you're trying to throw that flex shot. Mm -hmm. Then you make the overcorrection, and this no, is what happens. You, yeah, you go right at that tree. <laughs> you, you called it perfectly. Okay, Ben. If there's anybody on this card that needs it, it's Ben. Come on, Ben Callaway. Okay. Come on, Ben Callaway. Slow down. Slow, slow, slow. Go in. Go in. Slow down. Good shot. And there's the little slide down the hill. He's, He's making that putt. He has to, please. I feel like a player of Ben's talent, there's like a threshold of how many holes you can go without a birdie. And I think he's he's reached that and gone past it by maybe two or three holes. Good shot. Good shot. Well done. That's from part. Yep. Done. Beautiful. Oh, tough little scramby here. We're calling them scrambies now? I like that. Good scramby. <laughs> I love it. I'm always down for new words. To Go in. Add to the lexicon. Oh, boy. Oh, Simon, that's just a punch in the gut. It really is. I don't know why I'm laughing. Ben, it's got to go in. It's got to go in. Thanks. Thank you. It just has to happen eventually. I think Ben could have played this whole blindfolded and he would have birdied it somehow. I think he actually missed it and we just edited it out. <laughs> And made him make it. Because <laughs> that's what I was planning on doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. If, if he didn't make yeah. it, just cut. Let's do that again, guys. Bring back Ben back out there. <laughs> Let's film it. So we get it right. Take 12. Uh huh. It's a tough putt. Yeah, Drew. Good. Jeez. Drew with a clinical birdie. Yeah. That's how you draw it up. You don't even really need a hyzer back to the pin on this hole. I think that's what gets people. You just If you just throw it dead just, straight, yeah. 260, you're inside 20 feet. But then when it comes down to it, dead straight 260, sometimes really hard. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of really hard, hole 15, par 3, 370. OB left the whole way. If you go out of bounds, you go to a drop zone that just plain sucks. It's it's just a sucky tee. It's, you don't want to be there. Getting the gap is really the main thing that's on your mind here, but if you can somehow throw a hyzer shot that skips all the way down here for a look at the two, you are loving life. This is the one we thought would be the hardest hole, but it's the second hardest hole on the day. Yeah, hole two showed up. Miss it, miss it, miss it. Shot. Ben, a beautiful shot, 100 feet away. Ooh. Was it Macbeth that we saw when this basket was elevated a few years ago? Ran that putt from 110 feet and just made it. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get to see that drop zone. It's not that it's not doable. It's just not. It just sucks. That's the word for it. Yep. 
Okay. Oh. 100 feet. Making the making the island, everybody's pumped. But what it really comes down to is the stress of that tiny gap on yes. the T really gets in your head. Mm-hmm. To where it's only 270. 370. Or, I mean, 370, and you throw that shot all the time. Uh, Simon pushing the inside line. That's the way you got to go if you want to get the birdie, but. Wow, Drew. Yes, through the inside tree line. He's going to have a good look at the bogey save. I feel like Simon's had five of these. Yeah, that's like every hole is a jump. I feel like that's putt. my round of Brewster in a nutshell every time I play here. It's just you can't avoid the 100 foot jump putts. If you have a clean round and you, you just have 30 foot birdie putts all day long. You are loving it. Set. I don't want to putt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a save from Drew. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're just the realest moments I've ever seen on coverage right now. Ben Calloway. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't want to put. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sit. The way he delivered it, it's just oh, so relatable. So, at, all in all, this is the one I based in skins for one over. Four of them. Pretty good. Yeah. You'll, ha you'll take one over for a card on hole 15. No. No. You usually get a birdie in there. Really? Well, we only had a total of 16 on the day out of our 131. So that's it's good stuff there from whoever it's averaging did that. about uh, one a card. Hmm? It's averaging about one a card. That's amazing. Whole 16 <laughs> downhill. <laughs> good for all those people's 365 flex outside or inside line. That is the choice to make. Buy it. Ben going the back door route. Can he put the brakes on? Yeah, back edge of the circle. This course calls for you to hit circle putts. Yes. Uh, coming down this hill, your disc is gaining speed. Even if you hit anywhere near the green, good luck. It's never going to stop ever unless it hits a tree because it's going so fast. Paul going for the inside route, and look at that, playing Root. the bank. Yep. <laughs> what a kick. That had so much speed, it was just gone. Mm -hmm. if it doesn't hit that. Simon, low... Wide enough angle to skip to the pin. Nice, Simon. <laughs> okay. I... Oh. Yeah. See, it doesn't. <laughs> Another good kick. <laughs> Actually, that time that was just a bad break on the green, not putting the brakes. That's nice. Good shot. Right there inside, top left circle. I think the backhand is the only play that you can actually just pure it, park it, pure it, yeah. good speed on the green. <gasps> he has no idea how he has missed these putts. I don't either. They all look so good. Come on. I mean, going back to his par save, what was it, on hole four? Good looking putting all day from Ben, just not quite going in. Good looking putting from Drew all day. They are going in. And that's the five down. That's solid. If he can get to one to two coming down. The last two. If he yeah. can get the last two, that's a great round. Sure. But there's something to be said about that five, six under mark. It seems like there's gonna be fifty people. Yeah, it's it's kind of the score you're circling like Five down, okay, I don't want to shoot worse than five. Six starts to feel good, and anything above that, you know that you've had a good round at the course. But when you are having those even par to one over to one under rounds, it can just feel like a grueling work. Yeah. All <laughs> 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 17 par four. Oh, my goodness. What a... <laughs> You talk, I can't. <laughs> Hole 17's par four, 535. You can just throw it straight and then straight again. Had a little guarded green right here. This is probably playing as 
one of the four easiest holes, if I were to guess. Yeah, it's the third easiest you hole. You can get aggressive and try to get around the corner with a nice skip. Oh, but yeah. most of the wow. really good players play the straight shot, smart, make sure you have a look into the green. Paul was trying to get a little aggressive with that. It felt like going to flip up down the inside left lane, but it flipped up a bit too much and has found that bunker, that little island of trees that's on the right side. And Drew's going to go a little more hyzer, but unfortunately kicks the last thing, and that draws him back into the woods. See, and that's the, that's the problem with this hole. If you just play it straight, you're guaranteed to look at the hole. Yeah. A lot of people try to get super aggressive and skip all the way down the path. Just sit, just sit. If you go too far, that's jail as well. Simon is not laying anything up here. I'm surprised he's not throwing cut roller. Oh, missed those, and he's got the 85 to 100 foot look. But you're going to take anything that's anywhere near that road. Another roller here from Drew. Yeah, kind of a Bad break drawing him that much back into the woods. And probably a good thing that it hit that tree. I think that was going too straight. Yeah. Nothing changed, probably. Like he goes back there, he gets up and down. He finds right a way. There, yeah. He finds a way. Yeah. Ben, that's coming in quick. It's not gonna, the best right. reaction off the trees, but that's a putt. He's going to be close to the pin, but there's going to be about 14 trees between him and the basket. That's how you do it. Needs the flex and fast. Yeah, you'll take. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Parked. Yep. There you go. So Drew, he'll be about a hundred and about a hundred feet away. That'll be a par. Well, let's see what Ben's got. Can't help but root for Ben. For sure. Oh, there it is. Thanks. I mean, he is out here. Grinding a lot of pars in the last, I mean, the whole round. He's just been fighting, fighting, fighting. Yes. Macbeth, that's going to bring him down to seven, and we're talking about good round now. Yeah. Finishes with a birdie on eight. He's going to be like in his position. 18. 18. All right, all right. Last commercial did pretty good, but we got to top it somehow. Hope you guys came prepared with some notes. I don't see any notes. Uh, let's, let's hear your ideas. Um... Fantastic. Good, good suggestion. Good suggestion. <laughs> Hole 18, par 3, 345, and you just got this one. Well, you got a fairway you got to hit. Let's let's talk about the fairway. You got to hit that. But it's really that bush you got to miss. And that's it. Dang, 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 dang. Wah. <laughs> Wah. Buzz to the right. And yeah. just beautiful. Okay, so probably does. So it's a good round. I mean, that's that's a quality round of disc golf. Yeah. Almost getting half the holes, and it seemed like he was struggling a, a bit. Now he did get half the holes. He had a bogey. Ben. Oh, yeah. Is he just going to ace 18? Wow. You keep fighting, you keep fighting, and good things happen. Ben Callaway... Holding it together, man. Uh, kind of losing his mind a little bit, but in a funny way. Not in a, hey, Ben, get it together kind of way. Come on. That's not good. Did not want to come. Looks like it just wasn't stable enough to come out of that. Mm -hmm. This is This is a humming. Dart. Humming. Slow down. Yeah, that slows down. <laughs> when, it, when you throw a mid-range 345 with touch, it it's, it tends to slow down. You suck. Sorry. 
But it's true. <laughs> I think he's talking about the branches because he definitely yep. doesn't Hold suck. On. Not his best round. Dead center, <laughs> confidence builder. <laughs> I can't play now with this card. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. Ben to finish at two under. And finish with tied with Simon. I mean, they both had their own struggles, but, you know, when a lot of people struggle at Brewster, they shoot over par. These guys still manage to scrap out two down. Very respectable. <laughs> Drew with a fantastic putting day. Six down. I mean, that stretch of seven through 11 really is the that's that's the key feature of his round i mean that's an insane stretch to go five down between those holes Yay. Macbeth is just kind of periodically well good throughout the whole day Paul little tank. he does that he does <laughs> ben's not done beating up the bands <laughs> wow that was uh that was some Macbeth. we only saw two bogeys in the back nine but just a lot of almosts and what could have been's for Ben and Simon, who are just all over the basket, not quite in, but look at Chandler Fry with a hot round. My goodness, 11 under, and that was with a bogey. 12 birdies on the course in one round is insane. Matt Orm right there behind him at 10 under, and we've got a bunch of nines and a bunch of eights, and it is tied up at the top like we expected. It's always tied up at the top at these pro tours, and uh, tomorrow, Let's see if somebody can try to pull away from the pack. Yeah, we are going to switch to the other side of the road and play Fox Run Meadows, the open course here at Smuggler's Notch. Completely different than what we saw today out here in the woods, but we'll be back here for one more round at Brewster on Saturday, and then we'll finish the Disc Golf Pro Tour season at Fox Run on Sunday. Come back for round two tomorrow.